welcome back guys i've been doing a lot of really natural looks for the last little while i don't know why i think it's because <laughs> after my surgery i'm scared to kind of like put full makeup on but i am back i feel good i feel ready and i just went for it today i really wanted to do the type of full glam look that i love to do when i'm like going out for a night out with my girlfriends if i really really want to just like go all out with my makeup this is the type of look that i love to do if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and also be sure to add me on instagram because i have some special things that are coming up on instagram only so be sure to add me at iman click right here and now let's get into this look to start off i am using the caviar stick from laura mercier i love these creamy eyeshadows and then i blended it out with a synthetic brush just kind of up towards my crease i'm gonna list all the products for you guys in the description box below with links and everything for you guys i'm super excited to be using this palette today from smashbox this is their cover shop matte eye palette this palette is just so easy to use i'm starting with this brown tone in the outer corner and working that in words kind of towards my lash line and just blending it up over that shadow I'm taking the super slim liner from L'Oreal I believe this is L'Oreal I think <laughs> I ended up using two liners because this one was dried out a little bit but I started with this one and I just created a nice thin line at the base of my lashes I went in with the Girlactic liner and this one is awesome because it was super black super pigmented and had a beautiful sharp tip on it so it really helped me get a really nice sharp wing that was super clean Next up, I took a mix of that medium brown and a little bit of the black shadow. So I kind of just dip my brush in each color and then I just work that color from the outer corner, working it in and blending it over that liner that we applied. Then taking the lightest brown tone, this is a very, very nude brown in my crease, blending it through my crease. And then I took that mid-tone brown again and then just patted it on. So I placed that brown just on my lid. It just blended everything together. And took that dark matte black one more time and now just going over where we applied the liner and just kind of accentuating the outer corner just a bit. I used the lightest nude shade from the palette as my cleanup color. I applied that underneath my brows and then in the inner corner. For lashes, I'm using the Red Sherry Lashes. So I used to use these lashes, lashes all the time in Canada. I could never find them in the US. And then I found them on Amazon, my favorite place ever. <laughs> I love Amazon so much. So I ordered a bunch online um, and I love these lashes. They're, these are the Wispies. I applied a tiny bit of highlight in the inner corner using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Cool Girl palette. I love this palette so much, you guys. I've been using it every day for mascara i use the benefit roller lash this is my current favorite mascara and i just went over the lashes a little bit i took that mid-tone brown but now for the lower lash line and then i just sweeped it across the lower lash line getting it nice and thick i added mascara to my lower lash line as well and then probably my favorite part of this look was this final touch of this gold liner from makeup forever this is their aqua eyes this is such a beautiful color if you have any hints of yellow in your eyes at all so if you have hazel eyes or if you have more honey colored brown eyes this pencil will make your eyes look so what's the word i'm looking for it'll make them pop <laughs> i know that's so unoriginal but it really really does it really makes your eyes stand out here I am contouring with my favorite Rimmel London bronzer and then for blush I'm using this really cool palette that I got from Ofra Cosmetics. It has all these beautiful colors and I literally just kind of mix my brush in all the colors to get the perfect shade of pink. Then I took the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit palette one more time and pretty much just glowed up my face. I added highlighter everywhere. I usually would keep like a look like this matte, but I was definitely feeling a little bit of glow all over. For lips, I'm using MAC's Strip Down Pencil Liner, which is kind of like a 
neutral nude lip liner color but a little bit on the darker side and I just use that to line my lips and then I went in with Maybelline's number 530 nude lipstick I featured this in my last nude lipstick swatch lookbook it's such a pretty nude and I kind of just worked that in to blend it in with the liner and then I went over that with NYX buttercream gloss and it's this peachy color again I'll list everything for you guys below and I loved this combo and I kind of just blended it all together for some reason it cut off and it didn't show you guys that I added a little bit of clear gloss just in the center of my lip and then I just kind of fixed my liner just to make sure it's all blended beautifully I hope you guys love this look and if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button because I have so many new videos coming up for you guys I can't wait to share them also be sure to turn on your notifications so you know right when I post a new video and I have some really cool stuff coming up on Instagram as well so make sure you add me on Instagram at Iman and you can watch my last video right here See you guys.